first off, thank all of y'all for coming out to celebrate these two graduates headed to college in a couple days. So um, I, was, I was told that I'm kind of long-winded, so I'm going to let the ladies start off first. So um, I'm going to just let Brooke, I mean, excuse me, Kelly say a couple words. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, just thank you for coming out. Um, I am not a speech giver. I don't, I don't um, typically speak a whole lot, but I want Brooklyn to know that I'm really proud of her. Um, she's worked hard to get where she is now, and she's going to accomplish a lot, and I wish her well when she goes away. I'm so glad that she has Ayana with her. Um, they've been together since second grade, and the King family has embraced us since we met in second grade. So I appreciate you all making us part of your family and um, allowing them to spend the time together. And thank you for both of you for everything that you do. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Um, everybody, if you're here, you have shared in their journey, and we are here now. Uh, I am extremely proud of both of these young ladies. They deserve all of the good breaks that they're getting. They deserve going to the school of their choice. They deserve to be celebrated by you all, and we thank you all. We thank you for your gifts. We thank you for your prayers. We thank you for your presence. Please continue to keep both of these young ladies in your prayers because they're going to need it. We're going to need it. We love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, ladies, can y'all come over here? Right. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Ladies. Yeah, come over. You crying already? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna so I want I'm gonna say something about both of them. Um, but first, I want to say something to Yanni. So Yanni, please step up. All right, for all y'all that don't know. Ayana is my firstborn. Um, man, when we, when I first found out that Camille was pregnant, it was different. For all y'all that had your first kid, it's just a different kind of feeling where you're like, whoa, like, man, I've really got a person on the way that I'm responsible for. <laughs> like, you know, like somebody who is gonna look at me and just like believe that I can do anything. You know, look at me and think that I'm just Superman and think that I can just, you know, knock down walls, which Yanni really believed it. Like, Yanni was that child that looked at me as though I was perfect. She looked at me as though that, with this look, like, Daddy, you can do anything. If she hurt herself, she always looked at me and said, Daddy, make me feel better. Every single day, she would want me to, before I went to work, she would have me throw her in the air like 10 times in the air and I would catch her. And she just thought that I was just the strongest person in the world. And when Yanni was a child, we gave her the scripture and we put it over her uh, bed. And you know the scripture? What was it? Right, say it louder. Oh, you can do all things in Christ. Right, and that scripture that we gave you as a baby said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And you have exemplified that throughout the years. If you think about it, there has been nothing that you have not accomplished that you set your mind to it. And now you're about to embark on this part of your life. And I need you to remember, your mother and I, we want you to remember that still, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. 
The key part to that is not that you can do all things, but it's through Christ. It's through Christ. So always remember exactly that you're not just representing you. You're representing Christ. You're representing his family. Know what your last name is and never forget that. Know that this is the beginning. This is the beginning of everything in life that you want. You are about to go off on your own and accomplish some crazy things. Everything that you accomplished in the past has set you up for what all you're about to accomplish now in the future. So don't never forget that. When you go to that campus, we want you to go there with the mindset and the mentality that I'm supposed to be here. With a mentality that not only am I supposed to be here, I'm, I'm supposed to come and get everything that God got for me. So it's not by chance that you ended up at Michigan State with a community of people. You know, your Uncle CJ and Auntie Candace went there. You know, you got ET went there. You got all of these different people that went there. But just know that everybody in this room got your back. Everybody in your room, we're not we're in this room. We're not, you're not going by yourself. You're going with the rest of us. So just know and continue to remember that. And your mother and I, we want to give you this little gift. It's not a little gift. It's actually two carrots. And I want you to remember this. Oh, that's the car right there. I want you to remember while you on campus, remember like who you belong to. And you don't belong to me. You don't belong to your mother. You belong to God. I like that. Brooklyn, it's your turn. So. You know, Kelly said it best. Um, you know, we've taken a like to a like in uh, Brooklyn a long time ago. Um, she has seriously been, I don't think any of the Vayana friends have gotten this close to the family. I mean, Brooklyn even came just as recent to Jamaica with us. And, um, you know, we had a long conversation in Jamaica. And she was just talking about, you know, Brooklyn kind of wasn't sure what school she was going to go to. And she was just like, like, man, like, you know, like I, I got a few different choices that I want to go. But she was just talking to me about, you know, we had a heart to heart conversation, so I'm not going to go real deep. But, you know, she was just talking about how, you know, as far as scholarship wise, how it's not, it's not scholarships available, you know, a lot of times. So you have a lot of scholarships that's for people that make like, you know, below the poverty line or whatever you want to call it. And then you got, you know, if you're wealthy, you don't even have to worry about scholarships. And so she was just talking to me and I was like really feeling her heart because she's worked hard over these years. I mean, doing everything she's supposed to be doing in school. And I'm like, man, why don't they have scholarships for middle class people? Like, why is that? Like, why the middle class, you got to get up, go to work every single day. You know, the pandemic happens. They say that you're an essential worker. And then they say that you're the only person that need to go to work. You know, the middle class got to pay the most in taxes. <laughs> The middle class have to, you know, work long hours, take on hundreds of thousands of dollars in school loans and do all this other stuff. There's no relief for the middle class. Like they penalize you for doing right. And I felt her, we were on a yacht in Jamaica and literally she just started, you know, crying. And I, I told you it was like salt water from the boat that splashed up and hit me in the face. <laughs> But I was, you know what I'm saying, a little salt water got in my eye when she was talking to me. And I was just like, man, I sat back and I, and I just thought about it. I was like, man, there is no scholarships. And I researched this. I was like, there's no scholarships for middle class people, for hardworking people. And that's what we are. That's where I come from. I know y'all might look around now and be like, Jay, you so far from middle class. But no, this is, I, my heart is middle class. I worked as a police officer for 20 years. My parents were police officers. My, my whole family, everybody. And it's just like, you shouldn't be penalized. I think that I've been around wealthy. I've been around millionaires. I've been around billionaires. And nobody got the heart 
of blue collar workers. Nobody got that kind of heart where you do anything, but we get penalized for everything. And so, Brooklyn, because of you, because of you, I talked to Camille, I talked to my partner in the back, CJ, I talked to Candace, and we created a scholarship called Merit in the Middle. And this scholarship came about after that conversation we talked about. <laughs> so hold on, I'm not finished. Huh? All right. <laughs> so, so the four of us all got together. And it was like, man, we need to create a scholarship, man. We need to give back and we need to, you know, help out those people who want more. And so, come on, I want you to read this. So, by the way, you are the second person. We get the, the one person already received the scholarship because of this conversation. And you're the second person. I want you to read this. I'm out. Do you, you want me to read it or you want to read it? Want me to read it? I'll read it. Yeah. No, nah, you should let him read it. Just read the, you don't even have to read the whole thing. Hold on, don't read the whole thing. Just, I'll tell you when to stop. Just turn around, turn around. Dear, she can't really talk. She can't talk about it. Dear Brooklyn, congratulations on a job well done. You're the recipient of the 2022-23 Brooklyn Scholarship Award. Thank you so much for your hard work and determination you have proven to this student that the foundation wants to recognize and encourage to continue your educational effort. The award will be made from Merit and the Middle Scholarship and consists of a award of $10,000 divided between the fall and spring semester. As we go into this moment, I always like to say before I pray is that we go before the throne together. When, when two or three are gathered, there he is amongst us. So I believe that. And if we touch and agree on anything here on earth, it can be done. So we're touching. We're all on one accord. We're agreeing. And God wants to not just hear from me. I'm just the only one that can, that's speaking right now. But we're all praying. We're all going before the throne right now. So the Lord wants to hear your voices as we pray over these two beautiful young ladies. So do we have everybody who we need it? Everybody's here. All right, everybody, reach out your hand. Just position your heart. Um, dear Heavenly Father, we just come to you right now in your son Jesus' name, Lord, to thank you for this moment, Lord. We know that we are not here through our own strength, Lord, but we know that it's your power, your strength, your glory. We, we know it's all you, Lord, so we thank you that you've divinely selected Yanni and Brooklyn to go on to Michigan State together, Lord. And we just ask that your covering go before them, Lord. I thank you for every single person that's represented here right now, Lord. And we ask, Lord, that you cover them, that you touch them, that you strengthen them, Lord. We pray that they all elevate in, your, in their prayers, Lord, as they continue to cover not only these two beautiful girls, but every person, every child, um, every youth, every young person, young adult that is in their family, strengthen them so that they can cover them as well, Lord. Right now, we say a, pressure, a special prayer for Yanni in Brooklyn, Lord. We pray that they go on that campus and light it on fire, Lord. We pray, Lord, that they walk in the, when they walk on the campus, the atmosphere shifts because they're your, your daughters, who if you called by their name, by your name, you've called them, Lord. They're on that campus, and so we ask for you to protect them. We ask for your angels just to encamp 
all around them as they go to class, as they sleep in their, do their dorm. Lord, let them have no fear. Let them have no anxiety. Let them go boldly before and go boldly towards everything that you have for them, Lord. We pray, Lord, that the favor just overflows, Lord, as they talk to their teachers, as they study, as they're in, in their library, Lord. We pray that everything that they do to draw closer to you, Lord, we pray that a one-minute prayer is worth a year in terms of time with you, Lord. So we pray, Lord, that they elevate in their walk with you, that you be with them in every moment, in every situation, Lord. We pray for their friends, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you prepare them, Lord. You, you divinely selected them too, Lord. So we, get, we pray that they are leaders, that they not only lead their friends, their friend group, Lord, not only to lead them in success in this world, Lord, but also lead them to be successful in your kingdom, God. So we thank you, Lord, that your glory, your anointing, your favor, they're completely covered in you right now, Lord. So we right now, we want to praise you in advance, Lord. We see them walking across the stage, Lord. We see them becoming all of who you've called them to be, Lord. We see them being blessed beyond measure, Lord. We see it right now, Lord. So we just want to thank you. We want to say hallelujah. We want to say thank you, Jesus, because you're doing it. You've already done it. It's already done. It's already finished. So we thank you. We love you. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise God.